Meanwhile, Angola last week hosted the third ministerial meeting between DRC and Rwanda delegations in its capital, Rwanda. A statement from the Angolan Minister of Foreign Affairs said the meeting focused on the analysis, analysis of the peace agreement proposal presented by the Angolan president uh, to his counterparts from Rwanda and from the DRC. The statement adds that the ministers agreed to meet again in two weeks after holding a meeting of experts later this week. Father Jean-Claude Artsemeso is the CEO and president of Congo Minerals USM. He tells me that he thinks the two parties are making progress. I can say that uh, they have been making uh, a lot of progress. Uh, the Congolese requirement is uh, uh, very precise. They want uh, Rwanda to take out of Congo all uh, their militaries, to let them go back uh, to Rwanda. And uh, the Congo is going to be putting in place a joint force with Rwanda. And uh, I, I think they, they suggested that the U.S. also and Angola and the U.N. put a joint force uh, in place to look for uh, the interim way, uh, like uh, militaries, and to bring them back to Rwanda. And uh, I think uh, because uh, for the Paul Kagame, is, uh, if uh, he had his military in the Congo, it's because they were uh, trying to, to look for those uh, militaries in the DRC. Now they decided that uh, they're going to have a joint force to look for them and uh, bring them back to Rwanda. And I think uh, they're going to be signing on that. We never know what's going to happen be- between them. But uh, it looks like uh, that's where they are. It uh, seems that uh, these talks uh, have the support of the international community. But uh, the trouble is implementation. Do you think they will implement what they agree on in Angola? The SADC is very clear. They have been going from talk to talk. And this is the last chance for uh, Kagame. If he doesn't follow up with uh, this uh, last uh, talk, they will attack Rwanda. They're going to push them out uh, out by force. Who will do that? It, uh, there are people who say DRA Congo doesn't have the, the capability to, to protect its territory. No, the, the SADC, the, the South African uh, Command, the South African region, like uh, South Africa, all the, the countries who belong to the South African region. We need hope, we need peace, and we are hoping that this time uh, all this uh, relationship uh, are going to bring peace in Congo. That's Father Jean-Claude Atsemeso, the CEO and President of Congo Minerals USA. He spoke. Kenya's military on Sunday said its troops have departed for the Democratic Republic of Congo to join a United Nations peacekeeping force tasked with calming deadly tensions fueled by armed groups. The Kenya Defense Forces KDF said the first batch of the fourth contingent of the Kenya Quick Reaction Force to the DRC was officially flagged off Saturday, marking the commencement of their peacekeeping mission. Stephanie Kapkor, the base commander of the Embakasi Air Base, said the Ken QRAF will join the UN Organization Stabilization Mission in the DRC, which is focused on stabilizing the eastern regions of the DRC, where armed groups continue to cause instability. He said, I'm confident in your level of training and professionalism. Be good ambassadors of the Republic of Kenya by maintaining a high sense of professionalism and discipline in all your undertakings and uphold the exemplary performance registered by your presidators. He noted that troops' preparedness, professional training, and clear understanding of their mandate, expressing confidence in their readiness and capability for the mission. According to KDF, the deployment comes at a time when MONUSCO has intensified its efforts in protecting civilians, reforming the security sector, and in disarmament, demobilization, and reintegration of combatants. It is said the Kenyan troops will be engaged in operations against armed groups, protecting civilians, supporting humanitarian efforts, and aiding in the disarmament, demobilization, and the reintegration of former combatants, a task that the previous contingents have successfully performed. The country has an outstanding track record of contributing to peacekeeping missions internationally in countries such as Somalia, Southeast Sudan, Namibia, 
Liberia and Sierra Leone, underscoring its commitment to regional and global peace and security. Simon Seda, commander of KNQ-RAF, expressed his confidence in his troops' readiness and their ability to make a significant impact in the DRC. He said, Our men and women are prepared for the task ahead. They have undergone rigorous training and are equipped with the necessary skills to execute this mission effectively. We are committed to contributing to the restoration of peace and stability in the DRC.